Hey there everyone, Jerisha Hawk here, your favorite millennial mentor and founder of the Goal Getter Group, where I help women who work a nine to five build a business on the side. I, um, I'm just gonna dive right in, we're not gonna deal with any of the fluff today, but I've just been working with a few of my clients who are in my Launch Your Hustle program um, and some of my one-on-one -on -one clients and some consistent things are popping up. People are really interested and really why they've invested with me and really joined the Goal Getter Group and invested in my courses and my one-on-one -on -one services is because they're interested in not only just building a side hustle and creating additional income, um, but they're also very, very interested in making their business on the side a full-time gig. They want to be a full-time entrepreneur. And... I know sometimes it's like hard to see the light at the end of the tunnel when you just get into entrepreneurship or just get to the phase where you're starting your business because you're really like, I'm, I'm ready. I want a, a clear plan and a strategy for me to get out, to for me to be a full-time entrepreneur where I'm supporting myself financially 100% off of my business. Um, I'm, I'm ready for that and I need clarity. And I think the biggest thing that I really want to um, – communicate to everyone, hey Venus, is that we really have, before we can make any amounts of money or really grow any sustainable or scalable business, we really have to start shifting our mindset that we are no longer an employee, but we need to start thinking like an entrepreneur. And what I mean that is we are in a business where as we're, as we're trying to build a business and become full-time entrepreneurs, you're no longer trading your time for money, right? You're exchanging value for money. So in your normal nine to five job, all you have to do is show up, do the task at hand, and you get a paycheck every two weeks. Or at least for me, I get paid every two weeks. So I have to show up, do my job, and I get paid every two weeks. At, when you're building a business, just because you show up and put in 40 hours a week does not mean that you are going to get 40 hours worth of like whatever your income is or whatever you think your time is worth an hour if you're not providing value in solving your audiences or solving your clients' problems. And I think that's a huge mind shift mind shift that all of us need to have, especially when we're in the side hustle phase and we're just trying to get into starting a business. You guys, we're not exchanging time for money anymore. We're exchanging value for money. And that's so important. Value for more money, not time for money. And Venus, I'm glad this is resonating with you because it's, it's, it's a mindset, mindset shift that has to happen. And I know I've been talking about this a lot in my podcast. Hey, girl. Hey, hey. Um, I've been talking about this a lot in my, my podcast is what is the mindset, the mentality that you have to evolve into for you to really create and be an entrepreneur? Um, cause this game is not for everybody. This world is not for everybody, but that's one critical one that has to happen. So I'm, I'm going to say just one more time. Cause I think I'm saying it for me too. And I think it's all of us. We need to continuously remember how are we providing value? How are we solving problems? How are we making life easier for somebody else? And that's why they would invest in us and hire us to be their coach or be their, buy a product from us. But we're no longer exchanging time for money. We're exchanging value for money. And we have to stop thinking like employees and start thinking like entrepreneurs. So what are some of those key things? And it's critical as you're building and going into entrepreneurship to have a solid foundation, right? You can't build a skyscraper on, you know, some little baby foundation. Like you need to build a solid foundation that can really hold the legacy that you're trying to create and, you know, really so something that you can build your empire on. And there's just some fundamental things that you have to have in place for you to build that business. Like, We'll talk strategic and like tactical things, but I want to talk more about the mindset and the self-awareness piece that we need to get into. Like one, patience is, y'all, if you are not pay praying daily for wisdom, discernment, and patience, like please add that to the prayer list um, because patience is so critical. I think a lot of us, and again, because we're used to being employees, we're used to, I apply for a job, I get a job, and within two weeks I get paid. Um, it doesn't work like that in entrepreneurship. It does not, you know, just because you start a business and buy a domain name and create a website and put yourself out there does not mean you're going to get paid in the next two weeks. So again, again, that's that mindset shift that has to happen. Um, we need to be patient. We need to let go of our egos, thinking that just because we created something that people, we're, we're entitled for people to buy what we sell. Um, you know, we're not entitled to that. We have to earn, we have to earn that. We have to earn that trust from them. We have to earn, um, you know, 
them being comfortable and investing and giving their money to us or investing in our products or in our services to buy from us versus buying from everybody else out there who's selling things. So I think those are two really big things is we need to work on our patience and we need to um, let go of our ego a bit. And don't take it so personal, guys. Like just because somebody doesn't buy your product or doesn't buy what you're selling doesn't mean that that makes you any less worthy or less valuable as a human. That does not diminish your purpose and your God-given gift that you're meant that God has really placed upon your heart to give out and serve. So I, I don't want you guys to, to, and I think I've taken it personal as I'm building my business, that like I create this awesome program or something that I put out there, this awesome product, and I know it's going to help people, but people aren't getting it and they're not buying it. And I start questioning my own value and worth. And it's, Again, that mindset mindset shift that needs to happen. Like this, don't you can't take it so personal. Anybody um, can sell anything. The only thing that's wrong is your is your systems and your structure, right? It's your processes and your systems that's wrong. If if you aren't able to sell or people aren't buying your products, it has nothing to do with like who you are as a human being and what God has placed on your heart to give. So I think that that's really huge. And I think that all of us, we need to, to realize that, right? Hey, Gina. So um, those are just some of like the self-awareness pieces that I know that all of us need to work on. And it's something that it's not like you can check the box and it's done. It's something that as you, your business and as you evolve, um, those areas within yourself, that self-awareness, that patience, that ego, um, your worth, your value, you're going to con continuously be working on that as you're evolving and growing your business. So it's something to be self-aware of and just know that continuously work on. It's all about, again, that personal exercise. Excellence. That's what the Hawk Hustle is all about, is personal excellence. And that's part of that personal excellence piece you need to really um, just be self-aware of and continuously work on. So more of those tactical things on developing your foundation. And really, this is what Launch Your Hustle, the whole program is structured around, is developing a solid foundation um, so you can build a sustainable business. It's I, To me, it's the, the most critical element most critical phase of your business is that foundation, right? So one, it's understanding your brand messaging and your content, just what your brand voice is going to be, what your brand identity is, who you are, why you're in business, what you stand for. Um, second is understanding who you're serving, who is your target audience. Um, really, what are you able, again, that value, this is why it's so important for you to understand who you're trying to provide value to and why you can't sell to everybody and their mama. You know, you can't help every woman on the planet Earth uh, find a husband, right? Um, how you would market, you know, dating practices maybe for a woman who is 25 is going to be completely different than somebody who is maybe like 60 or not even 60. Let's say they're 45 and 25 trying to get married. How you market and target those two individuals are completely different. The way they communicate, the language they use, um, their idea of what marriage even looks like is completely different. So it's absurd for you to think, especially new in the game and entrepreneurship, that you can sell and target yourself to, to, to such two widely different audiences. And reason why it's everybody says this, but it's it's cliche, but it's so true. The riches are in the niches, especially starting off like nobody even knows who you are. You know, it's not like you're Coca-Cola and you've been in the game for 100 plus years and they're selling happiness. It's completely different because Coca-Cola has established established that uh, like, know, and trust factor. We believe in them. They've been consistent in pretty, I don't know how many different countries they're in, 60 different countries, 80 different countries. We know what to expect from them. So they can sell more of that like fluffy, fluffy, we sell happiness type of thing. Um, but us here, none of us have even been around. Most of us on, on this scope right now, I mean on this Facebook Live, haven't been around for even 50 years, nor have we been in business that long so we have to develop ourselves in one key niche area and once we own that piece then you can start expanding and growing out but it's really important for you to niche down so you can clearly uh, communicate to whoever it is your audience is um, because when I go to a website I'm spending so much time on this one point uh, but I really want to just drill this home because I know it's something that a lot of people have been coming to me with questions about and something that um, you know it took me a long time in my business to get to this space where I really understand who I'm serving. But you need to be able to communicate and talk their language and talk specifically to them. Because you think about yourself as a as a consumer, as a purchaser. Um, 
you know, when you go to a website that sells shoes, if they sell in shoes that are like those orthopedic ugly shoes that like my grandma would wear, plus they're selling like stilettos for the club, they're trying to sell shoes for everybody and a mama. I'm not about to buy shoes from there. Like, cause they're not talking to me. This is why I don't buy shoes from Walmart. I mean, they got every kind of shoe. They got construction shoes. They got slippers. They got heels. They got running shoes. Um, I'm not about to go buy no, you know, if I'm a marathon runner, I'm not going to Walmart to buy my marathon running shoes. I'm going to go to a specialty, um, like fitness store that specializes in, you know, first time runners trying to run a marathon and they got shoes that will support my feet. So I hope that makes sense. You need to niche down. Um, so let me go back to the tactical things that are part of your foundation is one, understanding your brand identity, who you are and why you exist. Two is understanding your target market. Who are you serving and whose problems are you solving? Um, three, it's also like understanding your leadership positioning. How are you, what's your unique selling proposition and how are you differentiating yourself from everybody in the market? Um, also building social media communities, building your tribe, growing your email list, um, growing your following of just people who believe in you, trust you. Um, building those communities is really important for your foundation. Um, understanding what it is you're even selling in the first place. So understanding your business model, what your strategies and structures are going to be, the different avenues in which you can actually make money within your business. Um, those are all some key like foundational things. Having a functional and appealing looking website is critical. I mean, guys, it's 2017. Everything is online. If your website sucks, we got to work on that. We need to, we need to have a functional, um, visually appealing website that represents our brand, our brand messaging, and our brand identity. So those are just some key elements that really go into building a solid brand foundation. And again, that's what all of Launch Your Hustle is about, is setting up a solid foundation for you to start generating income and creating your first streams of passive income, but also understanding how you're going to grow and scale down the line. So I just really wanted to share, not trying to sell you guys the Launcher Hustle program, but just understanding that, that and that's why I built the program. It's something that I do with my one-on-one -on -one clients and something that I had to go through and experience for me to develop a business that's at a point now where I'm, you know, having consistent five-figure months. Um, you know, consistent four and five figure months is because it all starts with that solid business foundation. And that's really, you know, building, going beyond just creating a hustle, but going beyond and really creating a full career and being a full time entrepreneur. Like you guys have to be committed, be patient, be committed to like the long game. You know, it's, it's not something that's going to happen overnight. It's something that takes time. Um, you know, if you're not in the game for at least like, if you're not committed to trying this whole thing out for at least two or three years, um, I, you know, I, it, it takes time to build a business and just to establish yourself in the industry and to just figure it out and figure out what works for you and what works for your audience. Um, so I just want you guys to keep that in mind and don't be discouraged that if you've only been doing this for six weeks or if you've only been doing this for two months or shoot, if you're just a week in and feeling like overwhelmed because you don't have stuff figured out, like I just want to tell you that that's completely normal. Um, and if you weren't like maybe not having it all figured out, if you had it all figured out within two weeks, like, uh, I want to work with you. I want to pay you whatever it is. Cause you, you clearly had the secret sauce, but you have to be patient and you have to just realize that it's a process. You learn to love the journey of it. Um, you learn to love the highs and the lows of, of, you know, creating a business and figuring it out. Um, you know, you learn to love failure because through things not working are really when you discover your biggest breakthroughs. So like, it's just, it's part of the process. And I just really want to really just give reassurance and give all of you guys confidence, especially if you guys are, have been in business for less than a year. Um, the first year of business is all about experimentation. It's all about figuring out who you are, what you're doing, like why you even exist, um, what type of business you even want to build. The first year is all about just discovering you know, like I think about it like, you know, a baby, um, their first year or two in, in life is just figuring out how to walk and like just figuring out what stuff is like they're not worried about what their career is going to be or what car they're going to drive, you know, and I think we need to, you know, again, humble ourselves a bit, um, be patient, let go of that ego a little bit. Um, and realize that we have to be committed to the long call. Like guys, this, we're creating a legacy. This does not happen overnight. It takes time. 
you know it takes time so I just really wanted to share that message with you guys really give you guys confirmation on maybe where you're at right now in business like keep going keep putting in that work keep trying things out keep failing um, keep finding out the stuff that doesn't work because that's just going to get you one step closer to the your golden nugget, to your golden key, um, to the thing that does work for you and your business. Um, be focused on the systems and strategies, right? If things aren't working, don't question your worth or your value. Question the systems and strategies you have in place. And just realize that as we're building a business, it is um, not about, you know, we have to shift the mindset from being employees to being entrepreneurs. We have to shift our mindset that just, you know, it's, we're no longer exchanging time for money. We're exchanging value for money. And everything that we do, we need to be providing high quality value for our customers and for our clients. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, you guys are awesome. Thanks for jumping on. Hey, Vanessa. Uh, Venus, I can't wait to work with you, too. I'm so excited for when that, when that day will come. Uh, hey Brittany hey everybody who's on so if you guys found any value in this I would love for you to share this video and maybe tag somebody else who's on the entrepreneurial journey who needs to hear this message I'm all about you know we all should support each other along this process it's not easy it's not um, one that I think that it, it takes a community it takes a village to build a business um, so let's support each other. Share this video if you think it will help somebody that you know in your audience. Tag them below if you think this will help somebody that you know um, who maybe needs to hear this. Um, if you do want like just a quick five checklist, like five step checklist on how to develop a business, click the link in the title of this and download that free checklist. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to share that message with you guys today. Keep moving that needle. Remain patient. Let go of your ego. Don't question your worth. Question your systems and processes. Um, make sure you have the right strategies and systems in place for you to really get the results that it is that you're interested in achieving. Um, and lean on each other, guys. Find that community. Find that support to help you throughout this process because uh, it's tough. But we're here. It's rewarding. It's worth it. You know, God has put it on our heart to continue to give and serve the world and to share our gifts with the world. Um, don't give up on that. You know, just just do a do a little quick reality check. Re realize where you are and what needs to happen to get you to the next level and keep moving that needle. Remember what Jerisha said, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye, y'all.